stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents... Zoo. Ladies and gentlemen, it would appear we are in for a wild and wacky next two weeks. We've got near-Earth giant asteroid TB-145 passing just past the moon on the 31st. And now it looks like from now through Halloween weekend, we could have a lot of Halloween fireballs. This is according to spaceweather.com. Halloween fireballs this weekend, question mark. Ten years ago, in late October 2005, Earth ran into an unusually dense stream of debris from Comet Enki, source of the annual Torrid meteor shower. Okay, first of all, space weather, Earth doesn't have legs, so it can't run, okay? So Earth flew into an unusually dense stream of debris. Maybe I'm just splitting hairs and nitpicking, and nobody really likes that, so I should move on. The result was a display of bright fireballs, widely observed from October 28th through November 10th. Astronomers called them the Halloween fireballs, and they look like this. Ooh, wow. Hiroyuki Lida took the picture on October 28th, 2005 from Toyama, Japan. You get a sense of the fireball's luminosity. Look just above it. That is Sirius, the brightest star in the sky. The fireball was just bright. That's a weird sentence. Astronomer David Asher, who correctly predicted the 2005 Torrid Swarm, thinks Earth could run into another filament of debris from Comet Enki this weekend. Meteor showers come around once a year, usually, as far as I know. So what would make that dude think that 10 years later, the same freak meteor shower is going to reoccur? That I do not know. I'm not aware of any decadal meteor showers, if decadal is even a word. It kind of sounds like they're laying a little cover story in case we do get a giant meteor strike somewhere around Halloween so they can say like oh no 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 it wasn't TB145 it came from this decadal brand new meteor shower you know what I'm saying I don't know all seems kind of fishy then it's 2015 so everything is pretty dang fishy if so the result would be a renewed display of Halloween fireballs the best time to look is during the hours around midnight when the constellation Taurus is high in the sky. If the shower materializes, observers would see a meteor explode every few hours. Tard fireballs come from a swarm of particles bigger than normal comet dust. They're about the size of pebbles or small stones. The rocky swarm moves within the greater Enki dust stream, sometimes hitting Earth, sometimes not. Will this Halloween be a hit? Stay tuned. Well, I know I will be watching from around 9.30 Pacific time, probably past midnight. I want to see if I can see the giant asteroid past the moon. I want to see a bunch of fireball. Now I just got to find a place to go where there's no light pollution. You guys remember that totally failed thing when they thought there would be a new meteor shower, Camelopardalis or whatever, the new Camelopardalis meteor shower. It was like the biggest fail uh, of the year. It was, it was pretty neat. I remember covering it. There wasn't a lot of media hype around this, so this won't be a fail, I, I wouldn't say, you know, but I'm just saying, seems like Halloween night for us nerds who don't have some giant party to go to, you know, hanging out, watching a meteor shower might be pretty cool, man. No matter what, I keep your head up, pay attention, because between TB145, this brand new Torrid stream, and then that weird UFO WT1190F, you know, a lot of action and new action that we just found out about for two weeks span. Wouldn't you agree? All right. Well, I'm out of town and everything's kind of been going wrong. So I will do my best to keep you updated. But the videos for the next four or five days may not have the most bells and whistles. So please do try and forgive me. All right. And do that I've been out of the loop for about four days. If you want to leave any comments, if you want to let me know any stories I might have missed, oh, please do because um, I really haven't seen much of anything. For about four days. All right. God bless everybody. Have a great day. Astronomy 101. Wait until dark. Look up. Then be extremely disappointed.